When YouTube updates something about thumbnails, we should all get a little bit excited, but also pay a lot of attention because they're so important to win in a click, right? And within this video, we have such an update. But just like the final season of Game of Thrones, it fails to deliver on what many of us would have hoped. We're launching the ability for creators to add text and filters, including emojis, to shorts thumbnails on iOS and Android devices. And this is how that works. When you're done uploading, filming, and editing your short and you reach this page, you can tap on the pencil icon of the thumbnail and pick a frame from the video like you have been able to do for a while now. The update are these two icons on the right hand side that now allow you to add text to the thumbnail, resize it, change the color, and position it wherever you want. You can also do the same thing with emojis. And there is a filter option too if you want to add or indeed remove a bit of color from the thumbnail. And here is the final result, which doesn't look perfect because the short is unlisted, but you get the idea and you'll see these custom thumbnails on the home page, channel pages, and search pages. Another promised addition is to edit the thumbnail after the short has been uploaded, which you couldn't do before. But I couldn't find an obvious place to do this, so I just have to trust YouTube that this feature is coming soon. So there aren't actually any bad updates here. Creators are getting more control and creativity over how they market their YouTube shorts to potential viewers. But here is the big problem and the huge irritation, at least for me. Creators still cannot upload completely custom thumbnails and there is no option whatsoever to even edit a shorts thumbnail from the desktop YouTube studio. Excuse me for a second. Where was I? Now look, I get it. For the vast majority of shorts creators, none of this is going to make a lick of difference because viewers will never see thumbnails as they swipe through these shorts feed. But it matters to me because most of the views from our shorts come from search traffic. And whenever I use this hack method to add a custom thumbnail to a YouTube short, they get noticeably more views. And if all of that matters to me, then I'm going to assume that it matters to tens of thousands of other creators who get most of their shorts views from search traffic. But granted, tens of thousands of creators still represents a tiny percentage of the community at large. But what irks me most about this is that custom thumbnails is not a new piece of technology YouTube had to invent. They literally had to remove the existing custom thumbnails feature and then create new layouts, workflows, and tools to reintroduce the now very limited shorts thumbnail feature we have today. Sometimes there's absolutely no need to get rid of the old thing and replace it with something new, is there? <laughs> I'm not a developer, and maybe this is a lot harder than it sounds, but all the YouTube needed to do was this. And it would have made me happy. We're exploring bringing additional functionality to Shorts thumbnails next year, and we're curious to better understand what you'd like. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Specificity is appreciated. All right, YouTube, since you asked, here's what we want. The ability to upload completely custom thumbnails for YouTube Shorts from any device. That's it. That's a brief. That's a comment I've left in that video. And if you agree with that same sentiment and you want to share it with YouTube, then I invite you all to flood the comments of this video if you care.